How often should you post content in order to be successful in your business? This is a question that I regularly get from my viewers, and I just <laughs> I hope to answer the question once and for all. So, first of all, we have to understand the purpose behind posting content. Well, you probably think, well, I'm posting content so that people can discover me and then and then visit my website and buy my products and services. That's reasonable. I understand. But how would people do that if you don't post quality content? So the ultimate aim of posting content is to post quality things that resonate with your ideal audience so that they will want to visit your website or or contact you and, and buy or hire you, right? Okay. But how do we get to the quality thing? The secret, the counterintuitive understanding that most people do not understand, and watching this, I hope you will you now do, the secret to getting to quality is through quantity. Okay? So in other words, how do you know which of the 10 things you put out there or 100 things you put out there is going to resonate with your ideal audience? Do you think you know based on your own judgment of your own content? Really? How is that going for you? Yeah, you work really hard on something. You, you work, you spend hours writing something or you spend months creating something and you put something out there. Have you noticed that it's not always correlated how much time and effort you put into something and whether it takes off or not. Like, this is something that we keep avoiding as that connection. We keep, we keep lying to ourselves that there is a connection between how long and how hard we work on a, a project and whether it takes off or not. Let's stop lying to ourselves about that. There is no connection. There is very little, There's, especially when it comes to content. Like you could just show up like and spend five minutes going live and saying something that's obvious to you and it may go viral. Like it may impact a lot of people. And yet you also could spend an entire year writing a book as I know lots of people have done this kind of thing. They spent a year or two or three years writing a book. They publish it and people don't really care about the book. It doesn't go anywhere. So five minutes of effort versus three years of effort, one, one of them was supposed to build a business, but the problem was we don't know which one. So the secret, like I said, hopefully once and for all, you'll, you'll like, okay, I understand this now, George. The secret to creating something quality that will actually get people to want to follow you and to buy your services is by going through quantity. You have to just humbly continue to show up, show up, show up, show up, and offer to say, all right, well, here it is. See what you think. You don't like it? Nobody likes it? That's okay. I've got something else for you next week or tomorrow, right? So back to, back to my original question, and this is uh, hopefully a little bit clearer by this point. How often should you post to become a successful content creator? Here's the answer. As often as you can. There is no magic formula for the algorithm, and I will argue with anybody who tells me there is, because there isn't. They're, they're, they're misunderstanding how the algorithm works. There is no ideal frequency. I don't care if you say Instagram twice a week, you know, Facebook once a day, doesn't matter. As often as you can, post content because you need to test a lot of things. Now, what does that mean, George? Does that mean three times a day? No. Well. The problem is if you post a lot, that, that's taking time away from doing other things to improve your business, to improve your product, improve your service, right? Making connections with other people. You need time for those things too. So it's not about posting a lot, but it's about posting with a heart of service and with a mind of exploration. If you do it that way, then you'll actually come across some ideas and some art form you put out there that people really find meaningful. And then you can go more in that direction next time. You see what I mean? So post as often as you can so that you can test. What can you commit to? Is it once a week? 
Is it once a day? I don't know. You tell me. You can always take breaks, but try to commit to a regular rhythm, not for the algorithm, not for the algorithm, because it's not, it doesn't work like that. The algorithm will surface great content even if you post inconsistently. That's the secret nobody wants to tell you. The algorithm isn't some magical once a day, twice a week. No. People do that all day. People have done that for so long and they still don't get clients and followers. So it's not the consistency. Not, not for the algorithm. It's the consistency is for you. It's for your own creativity fitness. That you, you, you commit to showing up enough so that you can test. And that testing brings you insight into what is considered quality by the audience. So I hope this is helpful and I look forward to seeing uh, if it is helpful or not. And um, thank you for joining me for this. I really appreciate it. All right. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next video.